Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Swire Russia. Today we're gonna do another little uh, day in the life kind of a thing, but it's gonna be different from uh, the most previous day in the life thing, right? Why are we doing the day in the life two times in a row? Just because that's what we can do, kind of. Anyway, that's what I think we can do. I don't really know what the situation is in the woods and on the logging trails and all that good stuff. So I think that one of the things we're gonna start out with here is to explore exactly that. It's pretty nice and fluffy and warm today, it's like 15, 17 degrees, a little bit cloudy as you can see. But uh, I think we're gonna see if we can start up the Yamaha TW200 and uh, then we're gonna head out into the woods a little bit. We're gonna install the battery of course. We're also gonna go to the local uh, store, the local small shop, because it's Saturday. And uh, Saturday is uh, ice cream and candy day for the, for the kids. Speaking about the kids, my two and a half year old green ninja this morning, he refused to put on socks which has a little bit of a pink on them. <laughs> that is really, really funky. It was like a cat on these socks and it has had pink ears or something like this. And uh, he simply didn't want to put them on because the socks had a pink color on them. Well, that's how that is. Boys will be boys still. <laughs> anyway, boys will be boys around here. So, uh, as I said, the little battery has been uh, standing in the house all winter. The seat is not completely cleaned up, but uh, we're going to install the battery here. Going to try and start it up, see if it want to start. Which it hopefully will. How I stole the motorcycle here over the winter is uh, I stand it as straight as possible. Then I uh, let it run dry, meaning that I close off the, 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 fuel, the fuel line or the fuel faucet, faucet, faucet. And then I run it dry until the carburetor is empty. Sometimes I cover the exhaust. I forgot that this year. And uh, there's new engine oil, I checked the tire pressure and all that good stuff. So uh, let me install the battery and uh, let's see if it's gonna run. But before it gets too serious, we are always serious here at the channel, right? I'd like to mention over at Patreon, I'm giving away this backpack. It's a water backpack. It's, uh, I think it's called uh, 3, 323 or something. Then I'm giving away, not this specific silky ultra xl 240 because as i said this one is mine there's many like it but this one is mine and without it i'm worthless and without me this uh, silky saw here is worthless but silky in holland my buddy jano in holland he's gonna ship out one of these to the winner over at patreon so uh, just head over at patreon and uh, there's a post there you can just uh, yeah post something Say, I'm in, I'm all in, or something like that. And uh, you be, be, you have the possibility to, to get this uh, pack or this saw. This is going to be completely random. Who's going to get what? I think I'm just going to kick it a few times without ignition. Do we have ignition on? Yeah. Whoa! Not even choke on anything. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. It actually has electric start on it. But uh, yeah, I, I didn't even got to that. And uh, yeah, some of you guys, as I say sometimes, you say, ah, oh, yeah, this is like magic. Last uh, week has always start the first time. But uh, you know, there's no faking in it. Why would I fake that? I mean, I just take good care of my stuff. New oils, spark plugs, this and that and this and that. And that's why basically most of my vehicles run pretty well sometimes. <laughs> but uh, maybe the situation out in the woods and all this good stuff is a little bit uh, better than the previous year. Even though we had a hell of a lot of snow 
So this year here, I thought that it's gonna be really, really muddy and uh, water, water everywhere. But look out there. There's almost no water, which I find a little bit strange. But uh, I was discussing it with the old time, and he said, "Yeah, but Lars, it's most likely because autumn was very dry, and the ground is simply just like a big sponge, and it sucked up all the the moisture, all the water." And uh, I guess he's right, because he's older than me, and uh, he lived here for a lot longer than me. So uh, maybe out there where we were doing this funky crossing. On the motorcycles, the previous spring in May, it's not May yet, but uh, maybe that's a little bit better. So I think we're going to take a look at that, we're going to drive one of the logging trails and then we're going to go to the shop pick up some ice creams and some cookies and stuff for the kids. But uh, first of all, we have to set up a funky system. We need the SRV, we need to put a generator in the SRV and we need to fill it up with, uh, not the generator of course, but we need to fill in a tank with about 100 liters of, uh, of water because we will need to wash the bike. Yesterday we were driving a little bit on the tanks, trying to straighten out the road. And uh, maybe we're gonna wash off the tank as well. Maybe we're gonna wash off the SRV as well as well. Let's see how much we can do in the day of the life here. Not super light, it's like 50 kilos exactly, which is a little bit more than 100 pounds. Let's say 110, 20 pounds just to make it sound heavier than it is, as some of you guys say. So, tank, generator in place, kind of. Let's fill her up. So we have a tank full of water and a generator so we can wash the little guy when we come back. But before we go, here we have more firewood. <laughs> you can never have enough firewood out here. See so here we have our foundation and we are waiting for some uh, materials. Building, construction materials. We have to make uh, uh, something something. A ring on top of the ring here you can see foundation looks nice no problem hopefully not anyway we have to get rid of the casting forms here at some point but uh, yeah we're waiting for some materials we're waiting for some uh, special tools because this is gonna be a kind of a not kind of it's gonna be a timber framing project and uh, I'm gonna be a timber framer here <laughs> during this summer so uh, let's see how that goes, but that's what we're waiting for and, uh, and uh, the construction of this house here is most likely going to take up uh, more than a good part of the content during the summer here. But uh, we have to do a little recon, see what's going on, see how it looks, because we have to do our annual uh, trip with Jagoa and Slava. I'm more into going up and metal detecting, not so much for scrap metal this year here but uh, no coins and uh, crosses and stuff like that small stuff interesting stuff but i think i'm gonna get ready i think i'm gonna get uh, my helmet and uh, all that good stuff and get you guys up on the helmet and let's go to the woods to the logging trails to the shop and uh, yeah all that good stuff but before we leave Check the links in the description if you're considering supporting the channel as merchandise. My Spesnaz body is making the design for the, for the merchandise and stuff like that. There's Patreon, PayPal for you guys who kind of uh, want to help the channel grow and do awesome cool stuff a little bit faster. Let's go! 
All right, guys, so we're on the logging trail, as you can see. It's just the very, very beginning of the logging trail. But we can see here, this logging trail, this part anyway, is a sand road. And that is what I want to try and achieve with my driveway up at the homesteads, because I said we don't have any gravel and rocks in the ground here, which is a little bit strange, but uh, that's just how it is. We'll head like a few kilometers out there and check where the, where the small rivers and creeks they run across the road and let's see how deep it is down there. I doubt, I doubt that we can actually make it. You see we have a little bit of snow down there and so on. There we have some huge culverts. They were also there last year. They're really big. Now let's check them out. Down there we also have a, an old uh, an old uh, dump site, or what we call it. Yeah, dump site. It's from the Soviet Union and it's been uh, used up until quite recently. And uh, to be quite frank with you guys, I have not wanted to show you that. But I can see now that they're actually trying to uh, clean it up because it's illegal to use. In the Soviet Union, they, they, they dump stuff from all the villages just uh, in, in the woods. That's crazy. I mean, you cannot do that, right? <laughs> but uh, let's go and let's uh, check the culverts there and let's check the, the dump site on the way back and let's go to the shop and get some ice creams and stuff for the kids. Some quite big guys. Whoa. Some pretty big tubes, culverts. I wonder where they're gonna use them. Hopefully, they're gonna use them down at the site where we're going now. Let's continue. All right, guys, so we're just checking it out. The site is the way it's down there. I'm not really sure I want to try and get there. But anyway, this part here looks much better than usual. It's actually very, very dry. The problem is if I get stuck with the bike, then I'm get stuck with the bike. <laughs> and normally it takes at least two people to get them out. We're almost on the other side of this crap here. Bikes down there. A little bit more than 100 meters. But I don't think we're gonna try and get over. I think I could, but I don't think it's really needed. I mean, the kids want their ice cream. They want their Saturday ice cream, right? Would you guys allow them to get that without any delays of me getting stuck in this stuff here? I haven't been able to detect any bear tracks yet. I think we have some uh, wild boar or something up here. There's been a few of them. You see, there's been a good, good amount. Alright guys, so 
So here in the lovely nature, we have a dump site, old dump site. It actually doesn't look that bad now. It used to look really bad. It smells bad. It smells of burnt plastic. This means I'm most likely trying to burn it up over there, something, something. Who knows? But that's uh, that's basically how it was during the Soviet Union and uh, part of the Russian Federation period, which is now. <laughs> But at least, uh, at least they're doing something in order to try and clean it up. And uh, that's of course always something. It continues over there on the other side. But uh, doesn't look good, but doesn't look as bad as it used to. Of course now it's illegal to dump anything here. But it's a lot of clean up, right? Let's go. Now we've seen part of a small town Russia and uh, a small town Russian food supply store or stuff supply store, right? Yeah, we're pretty far from civilization and all that good stuff. <laughs> we'll let the little guy try it. <laughs> It's considerable. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for this little video here. Please check the links in the description. 
if you want to support the channel and uh, for you patrons there, check out the post over at Patreon if you want to win the backpack and the silky saw. So guys, once again, check the links in the description. Please consider supporting the channel and all that good stuff. And until next time, get out and train, get it done, do something awesome, and see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for your time.